Finding this difficult when you dance into the music and don't I do just give yourself a hard time. That is uh, that is natural. If I were counting the music, it would go like this. And one, two, three, and four, five, six, and seven, eight, one, and two, three, four, and five, six, seven, and eight, one, two, and three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, finally back to and one. It's a little better if I count to four, but if I'm counting to eights, that's kind of what I'm cycling through three beats at a time as the music is doing four beats at a time. Meaning every time I do my a one, it may or may not be, and probably won't be most of the time, the one of the music. So just think, stay on beat, but at this stage, don't worry about being on phrase. You know what I mean, on phrase? Like starting at the beginning of a verse or a chorus or something like that. That will happen later when we get musical with it. So we had the hesitation. We talked about how the connection stays in the center. Everything I'm doing, I had a referee, but he's busy with the camera right now. Come up and do this and mark. So instead, we're gonna use this line on the floor. And you're gonna notice when I start to do other patterns, we're passing by the center and the hand is roughly staying in the middle as we go from one side to the other, equal and opposite usually. The first step we did was the wheel because we started an open after that hesitation. Get out of the way. Actually, let's do it on this bottom so they can see a link that owns the center. And one and out of the way. Two, three. Cross the rail on a one. Side two, three. I'm crossing that foot in front constantly. This is just enough to get out of the way. If I go too far and one, when I get to this side, I now have a very difficult task to get to the other side. So just enough and one to get to the other rail. And one. That's why I open the arms up. Because as we move past, sorry to stop you there. As we move past one another, we're actually getting pretty close. And then we're moving further away. Rather than me being in a circle, it's more like a long oval. Cool? Then we did a return to close. Not a return because we hadn't been there yet. And one, two, three. And this is where I normally start my hustle. In closed position. So I'm going to open break. And one, two, three. Return to close. And one, two, three. Do that again. And one, two, three. And one, two, three. Then we added the wheel after we did the open break. Two, three. If I'm already on this rail, I don't need to hop across it, so I can just do the one here. A one, two, three. Now I'm going to have to cross. And one, two, three. And if I want to go back to close, I'll release that hand. And one, two, three towards my partner. On the crossbody leap, which was the last move, I start like it's an open break. And then I follow my partner's shoulder across the track. And one, two, three. On my side breaks, notice I'm progressing a little bit to help create the rotation. And Alinka has done with her feet two moves. Different stuff going on with the arms, but with the feet, you are either turning left on one or right on two. And one, two, three. If we're only doing half turns, that's it. The arms will get nuts. They're going to be crazy cross hand holds up under the, well, maybe not that. Weird stuff. But know as a follower, your feet are gonna stay doing that. Eventually we'll get into spins and things. I didn't show it to you, but this is the bonus move we could do on the wheel. I'm gonna prep to lead her in a left turn. And one, two, three, while I dance the wheel. That's our underarm turn. And one, two, three. I can do the wheel, that was my fault. You see how she went to style there? Because I released the hand. So she's like, oh yeah, I can use the arm. If I wanted that arm, I would have to trail the back to let her know, and I didn't do that, that's why your arm went up, to trail the back to let her know that I need to keep that hand. All right, thank you so much. I think that was it.